Hey, it's great to be with you again today. So how's your heart? Everything going well? Are you deep into your faith? Are you chasing after Jesus? Are you asking the Holy Spirit to work in ways in your life so that you can bless others through the gifts that God has given you? Are you trying to stay in touch with God? Or not? Sometimes we get running around like a thousand miles an hour, don't we? We get running around and we get caught up in trying to do our job and maintain our family and go to sporting events for our kids or dance recitals or concerts or all the things that come along with family life, right? And we have to do that stuff. We want to do that stuff. But sometimes we get so caught up in trying to do all of those other things that we lose sight of Jesus, right? We start to just put it on autopilot and we start to make our way through each and every day and maybe we're sleeping an extra 15 minutes in the morning because we were up late the night before and we didn't do our devotions and, and all of a sudden things that we used to do trying to keep ourselves focused on God now have become, well, not as important because we've got other things to accomplish. We need to do things. We need to be places. We need to see people. And well, we've all got these things that come into our lives that avert our attention away from God. And Jesus is walking with the disciples one day and he asked them, well, who are the people saying that I am? And they say, oh man, some are saying you're Elijah, some are saying you're Jeremiah, some are saying you're some of the other prophets. You know, some of them are even saying you're John the Baptist raised from the dead after he got his head chopped off. And Jesus is like, oh, well, those guys are pretty cool. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Who do you say that I am? And Peter says, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus says, man, that is awesome, Peter. You, know, you didn't come up with that on your own. That has got to have come to you from God. Minutes later, he's talking to him and he says, hey, just to let you know, I'm going to go to Jerusalem and I'm going to get killed. The, the religious leaders are going to, you know, they're going to get together and they're going to kill me. And Peter goes, I will never let that happen. Uh, God forbid that this happens. There's no way I'll ever let this happen. And Jesus is like, yo, dude. Get behind me, Satan. You are so focused on the things of man, you're missing out on the things of God. You know, Peter loves Jesus. He wants the best for Jesus. Jesus has a plan, and this plan is to save all of mankind by sacrificing himself. He doesn't really want to die. He doesn't want to go to the cross. And so Peter is trying to save him. And sometimes don't we get caught up in things that are good? You know, we love somebody. We want to do the best for them. We, we got a thing going on in the community and we're, we're trying to make money for the church and we're doing this and we're doing that. We're trying to help old ladies across the street. We're do and all of a sudden, we're not thinking about things of God anymore. We're just thinking about things that are going on in our community or our family or our job. And we lose track of God. As we go through these days, may we keep our eyes focused on Jesus. May we not turn to the left or to the right, but to ch keep following Jesus and keep chasing after him. May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen. Amen.